Hello, my name is Paul Henry, Security and Forensic Analyst at Lumension. Welcome to our Patch Tuesday update for October 2013. Well, October Patch Tuesday includes an IE patch and seven others. Microsoft released eight patches this October Patch Tuesday. Four are critical and four are important. Two pieces of good news this month. The IE vulnerability Microsoft released to fix it for last month will be included in this month's crop of patches and the bulk of the October Patch issues do not impact the current code base. But first, a quick congratulations to Microsoft as their flow remediation program turns 10 this month. October 2003 marked the first proactive patch issue from Microsoft on a Wednesday. Patch Tuesday started the following month and over the last decade has positively impacted IT's ability to make informed decisions. 27 CVEs are addressed this month. MS13080 is a patch for 10 vulnerabilities in IE 6, 7, and 8. It is critical. There are two known attacks underway, so the IE patch should be your highest priority. This patch replaces Fixit CVE 2013-3893 MSHTML shim workaround that was released in mid-October. MS 13081 patches seven privately reported vulnerabilities in Microsoft Windows kernel mode driver and should be your second priority. This is a critical rating, but there are no known active attacks. Third on your list of priorities would be MS 13083. It's a critical patch for Windows Common Control Library across all platforms except Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows RT 8.1. It addresses one privately reported vulnerability that could allow for a remote code execution. There are no known active attacks. MS 13082 is the last of the critical patches and it addresses what could be a remote code execution in Windows and the .NET framework across all platforms except Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows RT 8.1 important patch for SharePoint 2007, 2010, and 2013. It's a remote code execution vulnerability and handles an issue in Microsoft Office and Microsoft Server Software for Excel and Word services. MS 13085 patches two privately reported vulnerabilities in Microsoft Excel that could allow for a remote code execution. MS 13086 also patches two privately reported vulnerabilities that could allow a remote code execution, but this one is for Word. Lastly, we have MS 13087, one privately reported vulnerability in Silverlight that could allow information disclosure is patched in this one. No active attacks are known. Now, Microsoft has also revised Security Advisory 2862973. It's an update for depreciation of the MD5 hashing algorithm for the Microsoft Root Certificate Program that will be rolling out in February. So test and plan accordingly. Also top of mind this Patch Tuesday is the breach at Adobe that may have revealed both customer information, including credit card data and source code for Adobe products. Reportedly, account data, including customer IDs, as well as encrypted passwords, for up to 2.9 million users were stolen. Brian Krebs and Alex Holden reported that they had discovered a 40 gigabyte source code trove stashed on a server that included source code and compiled code for Cold Fusion and Acrobat. Now we've seen Day Zero exploits in Adobe products on a regular basis and now with source code available for cyber criminals we expect to see an increase in Adobe Zero Day related issues for the foreseeable future. This has been our Patch Tuesday update for October 2013. Thank you for listening.